Lake Texoma. It's the first weekend in April. Water temps are in the 60s and the fish are moving up. But springtime in this part of the world can also mean big storms. And on a lake like Texoma, things can get rough real quick. We're at the second stop, for Texas Team Trail Lake Texoma, and uh, this is gonna be a good one. Man, they're, they're moving up on beds fast. You know, right now, fish are, there, there's fish up on the beds, there's fish coming to the beds. I mean, it's in every, you know, every stage there is going on right now. The big deal is gonna be the weather. It looks like we're gonna have like 100% chance of rain come about 11 o'clock, the wind's gonna pick up. I think out of the east, southeast or something like that. It says the wind's anywhere between 10 to 20, so on Texoma, go ahead and add your 10 miles an hour to it because it's gonna be rough. Welcome to stop number two of the 2019 season of the Texas Team Trail presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. It's 59 degrees at launch time and a light rain is already falling. The forecast calls for a 100% chance of storms with possible heavy downpours later this morning. Right now, I'm just looking about nine o'clock, about 20% and progressively increasing throughout the day, um, moving more to a 60% afternoon. So uh, we're anticipating the rain. So uh, we're trying to just get mentally prepared for it. Yeah, we're gonna get some, <laughs> get some rain gear ready to go and uh, we just gotta do what we can, try to, try to get five in the bag. Stop number two of the Texas Team Trail presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's is launching 245 teams this morning. There's $114,000 up for grabs today, including a brand new Nitro Z18 powered by a 150 horsepower Mercury motor for the champions. For the complete line of Nitro boats, head on over to nitro.com. We've got three cameras on the water this week, and we'll get things started with the father-son team of Bob and Chris Sabina. You can see these three points. We did some pre-fishing yesterday. Um, actually didn't even get a keeper in the boat till about 12 o'clock. Uh, so basically what we found here is we have three offset points on the main lake. It's gonna have primarily a smallmouth population. We're gonna use these as some confident fish today. So once we can get some fish in the boat, kind of takes the nerves out and we can work on getting some bigger ones in the back of this creek here. Got him. Get the net, please. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. This is a giant. Oh my God. That's a giant, dude. Please be a bass. That's a giant. That's a giant fish. Please be a bass. Please be a bass. Oh my God. That's a giant smallmouth, dude. That's a five pounder. You ready? Here he is. Here he is, Dad. That's okay, Dad. Oh. Boom, baby! That's giant, man. That's hey, look at that jerk bait came right out. That's the ones we're looking for today, baby. That's the ones we're looking for today. <sighs> Golly. That's why you do this. That's why you do it. We'll put her on the big side. Marinas play a big part on Lake Texoma, creating a unique culture during the busy months. But these slips and boathouses also offer year-round cover. Up next, we'll check in with Keith White and Clayton Bulware. Clayton's up front throwing a bladed jig while Keith is fishing a soft plastic creature bait. That may be a little bit better. Back Keith. Got him. We'll take him. Good deal. Basically what we're trying to do is just fish every walkway and piece of piece of floating anything that we can find that's got cover, especially the ones closer to the bank. The fish seem to be on, on those water warming up. You go through a bunch before you get a bite, but when you get a bite, it's usually the right fish. Accuracy on casting is a pretty big deal. On the bug? Keep. Yeah. And usually you can throw a darker color one before the sun gets up in these boat houses and have a chance of catching one or two. Moving on, 
Jeff Reynolds has four Bassmaster Classics under his belt. And he also cut his teeth fishing on Lake Texoma. There's a good one. That need net. He's fishing the Bass Pro Shops in Cabello's boat. Randall Bruce is on the back. That's what we're looking for. Good job. That's two and a half pounds. Red. Right now the fish are, I mean, they're really close to getting on the beds, but it's really a perfect time because there's some on the beds, but the majority of them are still out waiting, and they're kind of in that mood where they're wanting to bite. And with this weather coming in tomorrow, it's going to be cloudy, raining. If the lightning stays away, I mean, I, I think guys are going to just absolutely crush them. Uh, last weekend, there was a couple tournaments down here. It took 25 to win one, 22 to win another one, and they're just biting really good right now. I'll get on trail mark. Go do your thing. Reynolds and Bruce already have a limit in her culling with an eye on the radar. The storms are coming, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Fishing can get really good when the weather gets ugly. Stay with us. Tournament coverage continues from Lake Texoma and stop number two of the Texas Team Trail presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. There he is. Oh, I got him. The Texas Team Trail is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By Lucas Oil, title sponsor of our Angler of the Year program. And by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Welcome back to stop number two of the 2019 season of the Texas Team Trail presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's from Lake Texoma. Highport Marina is our host this week in the fishing friendly town of Denison, Texas. We enjoy the families and all the fishermen. They're some of the greatest people in the world to be around and to visit with and to shop with. And we're gonna continue and always have our arms open for bass fishermen. But it's a beautiful lake all the way around and especially for fishing. It's great facilities. It's, you know, the town wants you there, makes it easier. There's lots of places to stay. There's lots of houses. There's great hotels, great restaurants. Um, it makes a place where you can actually bring the family. It's not just such a death trap for just for just fishermen. We have this great downtown that's been restored. We have architecture from the 1800s. We have a brewery, distillery, lots of neat little shops, and some cool restaurants for families to come when they're maybe tired of going to the lake, to come down and get a warm welcome from our businesses down on Main Street and throughout the community. If you're planning a trip to Texoma, plan your stay in Denison. They've got all you need. Getting right back into tournament coverage, we'll get back with Chris and Bob Sabina. With one good small mouth in the life well, they're rotating between the same three points. We're gonna make a move over to that point down there. It's Much of what our strategy is, is just point hopping until we can get our five in the boat, and then we'll start to upgrade. And if we're gonna set it up and be completely transparent, I have never fished Lake Texoma and either. My dad. Yeah, well, we we we, we pre-fished it last week. Yeah. And we thought we had a great plan. We thought that it was gonna work, and we came out today, and it was different. Water level went down. It got much cloudier, um, so we had to find where we thought the fish could see our baits, and that's where we had some Easy. better action. Easy. You got this, bro. Don't yeah, don't have to force. Don't force her. Don't force her. Don't force her. Don't force her. Bring her up when she's ready. It's gonna fight. This one's gonna fight. Come on, you got this, Dad. This is meant for you. Right now. Oh, hold on there, buddy. 
Hold on there, buddy. Hold on. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Try it. Try it. Hang on. Hang on. I can't see her, dude. I can't see her. Hang on. Hang on, Dad. This thing's fighting too good. Hang on. I, I can't get it. How about that one? <laughs> Man, that's what we needed from you today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, there we go, Dad. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing. <laughs> toad. That's a toad. Throw her in. Two, look at that. Two toads. Man, you know, that's all I can ask of him today. We said before, you know, if he brings me one to two fish like that, that puts the pressure on me because now I got to get it done. So thanks for that. Lester Springer and Mark Boyette are up next. With the lake low, a lot of previous cover is on dry land. Rocks and rock piles are now key cover. We had a good practice day yesterday. Had probably 17 or 18 pounds yesterday. That's a good one. But um, so far we hadn't, we don't quite have that. We've thrown a crankbait, and uh, mainly crankbait, shallow driving, uh, diving crankbait. And then we're also followed up with a, a wacky one. And I, I think the wacky has done about as good as a crankbait today. It's mid-morning, and the anticipated storms are moving in. For some, it'll be a bonanza. For others, not so much. Stay with us. The Texas Team Trail presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's tournament coverage from Lake Texoma continues right after these messages. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but will provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil. It works. The Texas Team Trail presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. Garmin Electronics. Fight the fish, not your fish finder. By Mercury Outboards. Go boldly. And by PowerPole. Shallow water anchor system. Welcome back to Lake Texoma. This is the second stop of the 2019 season and we're dealing with a little weather. A heavy thunderstorm has moved in, and depending on where you are on the lake, things could be getting a little dicey. With three cameras on the water, we'll get right back into tournament coverage with Shane Moore and Brady Winans. We started off this morning pretty good. Uh, got a couple of keepers in the well, a couple of probably three pound fish. Uh, kind of slowed down on us. Since then, we pulled up on this spot and the stripers had moved in, so we uh, Caught about four or five stripers on the first few casts in here and then uh, moving around looking for some of these fish moving around on these flat points out here. This is a typical type of Texoma day where you want. I mean, this uh, lake always fishes better on the dirtiest, nastiest conditions. And I mean, we're gonna definitely have that today. I mean, it's, uh, I've fished this lake all my life. And you know, those Chamber of Commerce sunny, clear days are not the days you want for this place. I mean, it's, uh, got a lot of good fish in and it's gonna take a lot to wait today but today's the type of day that, that you can wreck them so oh my 
gosh. Big spot. <laughs> Pretty spotted bass. Moving on, this is the team of Roger and Williams. Like most, they've got a little up, right? It's been a good day. We got five, probably for 16, 17 pounds. Uh, just trying to slowly upgrade. Kind of. Some of the decisions we're starting to make right now are due to this uh, storm coming through. Uh, it's got some pretty bad lightning in it. And we don't want to be stuck out there in the middle of the open when the lightning starts hitting us. We'll mill around some of these docks for a couple more hours till it passes and try to go find some other stuff. Now we started this morning with a six pounder first fish. So it really gives you a confidence boost when that happens, which, you know, that never happens for us. So uh, then the next fish was a four pounder. So uh, we had a great start. Now these are the first two we caught this morning and uh, started out really good. When the rain started, it slowed down, but we've still been able to catch some smaller fish. A couple of more good ones will really go a long ways. I think you're going to need to break 20 pounds to even get in the running. But we still got about two hours to go, so we're going to keep trying. We've got one more stop before weigh-in, and we've finally got caught up in the rain. This is Chris Stone and Chris Weaver. Hey, buddy. He's a little smaller. Yep. So far, we got a limit. Decent limit. Uh, we've culled uh, three times already, and uh, been been fairly good with this. Rain seems like it's fixing to sock us in right here for a little bit, but the fish are continuing to bite. Uh, once this, the lightning started, we had to find us a place to get in out of it because it was pretty scary. But all in all, it's been a good day. Weaver, now. It's a good one. What do you want? What do you want? Right there. Ah, he got small. It's not bad. I think it'll help. What we got is, is we got a lot of little rock piles just scattered all over through here. And uh, we just, we'll hit one, move around. They're just cycling in and out of here right now, just moving around is what they're doing. Well, that's what we found anyway. But sure makes it fun. Look at those clouds. Man, they're getting it. Oh, shit. A fish? Yep. There he is. Come on, stop there. That's, that's the one we's looking for right there. What, is it? Yep. Oh yeah, come on baby. Come on, bring it up, get him in there. Yes sir. Oh! Yes sir, look at, look at oh that. my gosh. Fell right out. Look at that. That's a partner for you right there. Stone and Weaver are climbing the leaderboard. Man, that is awesome. Coming up, the Texas team trail presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's heads to weigh in. There's a mercury-powered nitro boat up for grabs. Stay close. For the complete line of nitro boats, head on over to nitro.com. I got my power pole down. Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake. Sitting so still in the wind and the waves. Could even be a hurricane. I got my power pole down.
It takes brains and brawn out here. Your wits and know-how and the rugged performance of the Nitro ZV-18 and the Nitro ZV-21. These two groundbreaking deep Vs and the relentless anglers who run them are turning heads and catching fish on the tournament trail. See how the Nitro ZV series is winning on northern waters. Nitro boats, champions aren't born, they're made. The Texas Team Trail is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lawrence. Find, navigate, dominate. Welcome back to Highport Marina on Lake Texoma. We launched 245 teams this morning with the lake moving into full spawn mode, but heavy storms moved in late morning, wrecking plans across the lake. We caught five fish total. Uh, one of them was short, so that was all the bites we had all day. It was just a tough day of fishing, you know? Just gotta grind it out, that's all we could do. Checking the prize money, there's $114,527 up for grabs, including a Nitro Z18 with a 150 horsepower Mercury worth better than 30 grand for first place. The contingency awards are worth 24,500 bucks, and Angler Advantage is paying $14,900 down 22 places. The Big Bass Award is worth $1,225 today, and so far it's Bobby Batarak and Tony Doherty on top, with one pushing the scales to $781. Man, what a beautiful Lake Texoma bass. Let's check in on the top of the leaderboard. Cody Wilson and Shane Franks locked up fourth with five for $2,161. Moving baits early and then went to soft plastics later in the day. Just marinas and back of pockets. Standard spawning stuff. Jason Kahn and Dustin Renault sacked up 22-10, finishing out the day in third. This lake, it showed out today. Uh, these weights today were some of the best I've, that I've ever seen out here. Um, I, I was actually kind of excited about fishing here. Um, I, I've been coming out here the last few weekends, doing pretty good, catching some smallmouth and stuff, which I didn't catch any smallmouth today. Um, but but uh, yeah, it showed out and I had a good time. I love this lake and I hope, hope we get to come back. Brady Winans and Shane Moore put five on the scales for 22.56, and that was good enough for second place. To get second is it's an unbelievable feeling. I mean, we beat a lot of good teams today and uh, had a blessed day, um, caught a lot of fish. Texoma really showed out. And in first place, it was Taz Farrell and Ryan Murat. Still looking for 21.62 to take the lead. We got there. 2308. Except we had all of our weight by nine. We beat a 50 yard stretch all day long. Caught our fish on a Carolina rig, some on a fluke. And that's about it. For Farrell and Marat, those five fish were worth better than $30,000 today. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10 on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's leaderboard. Unfortunately, there was only $6,000 paid out of the available $24,500 in contingency money up for grabs this week. That is a bunch of money left on the table. To learn how you can take advantage of the sponsor bonus awards, head on over to TexasTeamTrail.com. Here's a look at the Lucas Oil Team of the Year standings. A big thanks to the city of Denison for hosting this week. If you're headed to the region, look them up. And finally, if you're in the market for a new boat, we encourage you to check out our preferred network of dealers. For dealer information, check out the Sponsor Bonus Program page on our website. Join us next time. We're headed to Sam Rayburn. Don't miss it. This has been a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. TRX. The bold new family of bass boats from Triton. Seven awesome models from 18 and a half to nearly 22 feet. TRX. Huge casting decks, massive storage compartments, 
Extreme Triton Performance. TRX. The boat for back to back classic champions. Ready to rocket you to the winner's circle. TRX. With Triton, having it all has never been so easy. Sleek new design with easy control file. The clearest images underwater with uncompromising range. Live mapping from the touchscreen. View notifications, video, even Google Maps on screen. And for the first time ever, real-time view of fish movements with live sight sonar. HDS Live, new from Lowrance.